we doing today? Well, today I wanted to show you how to do fake freckles. Something like really cool and editorial. It's a really boho kind of photo shoot. So we want it to look really natural, really strong eyeliner, but lots of fake freckles so it looks like you don't have any bags on. See, I love that. That's really cool because I have natural freckles that go from here and they go across my nose and then back here. And it's just like a strip of freckles. And I always cover them because I don't know how to do foundation and then like leave the freckles and I don't want to just wipe it away over there. But I do like them, so it'd be cool to learn how to enhance them a little bit. So today I'm not going to fill in your brows at all. I'm just going to use this Anastasia brow gel just to kind of groom them, because I don't want them to look too... Yeah, my eyebrows are crazy. They're really thick already, so I don't like when people fill them in, because then I'm like, they're so big, don't do that. <laughs> too much, I've got it already, I've got it covered. <laughs> so to create this strong liquid liner, I'm using just a Maybelline um, cream gel liner and an angle brush, just starting right at the lash line and following the tapes that we've put on all the way out. And the best way to do this is just to keep building on it until it gets thick enough. So now I'm just gonna use this Becca highlighter with the blending brush to set the creams in place, both the black eyeliner and the concealer on the eyelid. Then I'm going to take like a small detailing eyeshadow brush and just this black NARS eyeshadow and I'm just going to go over that black line again just to make sure it keeps a dense black colour. Feel okay? It feels so weird. So now that you've removed the tapes from underneath the eye, you need to go back in with a little concealer. So this is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer. It gives you a nice pop underneath the eye. Makes you look nice and awake. I'm just gonna set that with a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury translucent powder. This is one of the areas of the face that you do want to stay quite matte is underneath the eye. But I do like a glow to be almost everywhere else, for this kind of look anyway. So we're going to use these model rack lashes today and I'm going to actually do both sets of lashes. I love these ones because they start really small and they get really long towards the end. Yeah, that's so with such a full on eyeliner they and look great. And then this one over it, like And then hand. this one over the top of the end just to give it extra thickness on the really? kicker. This is so cool, I'm excited. Well, the best way to do um, freckles and make them look natural is to make them all different colors because people don't have like uniform, exactly the same color freckles Yeah, on their my face. freckles are definitely not the same color because some of them have been there for longer and some of them are... There's some of them are smaller, yeah. some of them are larger. Yeah. So the way that I normally do it is I use three different colored eyebrow pencils. So the eyebrow pencils are gonna give more of a natural color. And so you just basically do little twists oh with the God. eyebrow pencils. And I do some that are like really ash because this is like a pale blonde color. Yeah, like a lighter. And then I'll use like a warmer color. So this is like a chestnutty kind of like. And you'll make some bigger, some smaller. Some smaller, some really strong, some very faint. These are the Brett Brow um, eyebrow pencils that I'm using. And he already on each eyebrow pencil has two different colors. One on one end and one on the oh, other. Oh, it's two different? Yeah, one's slightly lighter than the other. Oh, oh, that's really cute. That's super pretty. All of them are like that? They're all like that. Oh, how cool. So we're kind of just going to keep mixing it up. Really awesome. And you just keep building it. Just keep doing like a few here, a few there. Make sure you make, you know, a few on each side. I'm drawing them all over my body. <laughs> and I have natural freckles, so I can just do it right over like my real freckles. Exactly. You can pick them out. And the best thing, not that you have any, but like if you have like a major zit and you give it a freckle over the top, you'll totally cover it. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> so if you ever get that breakout moment, you it's the perfect that. time to like give it a freckle. Give it a freckle. That's our slogan for the video. Give it a freckle. Oh, they look so cute. It's like... 
it's weird because I have them there, but they're just so many, so it's just cool seeing how like like my nose. Like I didn't even notice that you did them on my nose because I'm so used to actually having, having them, them there. On your so nose, I didn't yeah. even notice that you like drew those on because this is what they look like on my nose. Yeah. But this one, yeah, I have this little guy, so he's darker. Oh, that's so that's so awesome. So cute. I'm definitely gonna use this. This little tip and trick. Cute. Well now to keep them there. You actually have to set them with powder because they're a cream. Okay. And so they don't go anywhere. I just kind of press a little bit of translucent powder over the top of them. So now I'm taking this Coco Cabana. It is Coco Cabana by NARS. Um, which is just a cream highlight. And I'm just going to put that back over the top of your nose because we powdered down those freckles to keep them in place. We flattened it out. And I want to put a little shine back on your cheekbone. So I'm just pressing it in with a foundation brush. Yeah, I love highlighter. It's like the prettiest thing. I think it looks awesome. This is my favorite cream highlighter. Well, I have it in like the liquid version. I've never seen it in stick before. That's really awesome. Yeah. Yeah, this is my favorite new highlighter by That's Becca. Awesome. It's like the champagne color with this little highlighter brush. It's actually what I used as your eyeshadow as well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, you could use highlighter as eyeshadow? Yeah, if you want that shimmery look. This one's really good. And it also sets the cream highlighter so it doesn't move either. Right. Gives it a little bit more strength. And then I'm going to use this fan brush with the contour that comes with this just to give you a light dusting underneath the cheekbone. We're gonna focus more on the highlight than the contour today though. So these are the kind of lip options. So I've seen these on Instagram because I follow this account called Makeup Videos and they always are posting girls doing these and they look so cool because they go on really shiny and then they just, in two seconds, are just dry. Well, like they're that. like a cream lipstick but in a lip gloss applicator. I think I like this one because I don't. One? I'm not a fan of uh, strong red. Of strong red lips. This one's called Pure Hollywood. That's really Anastasia pretty. Cream Lip. So even with these lipsticks, the um, the lip applicator I find puts them on a little too thick. So I actually still like to do it with a traditional lip brush. So you can start a little finer and then build on it. I'm just gonna finish it off with a little lip liner. So I'm so excited about this look. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. We can't wait to go shoot, and I hope you guys love the photos. This look is really different, and hopefully you guys got some cool tips. If you use fake freckles, tweet me, show me the photos. I would love to see.